Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to talk about Romania, specifically Timisoara. It's a city in West Romania with um, not more than half a million of people. I absolutely love this city. So obviously I'm a black person in a country where there are not so many black people. I don't think black people are really interested in in Romania. First thing people ask is where is Romania? Not so many people know where it is and feel like coming here. So what comes with that is the staring. First I was uncomfortable when people would stare at me. Sometimes I would stare back or say hello, but now I don't care anymore. <laughs> and those who stare the most are older people or kids. Teenagers, teenagers, they don't care. <laughs> but kids who are a bit curious are older people, so honestly sometimes it scares me. I remember I took the bus one day and there was this guy just staring at me for the whole trip, like 15-20 minutes. He just kept staring at me, staring until I, I got off the bus. That was really creepy. So if you are one of those people who like staring at people who are different from you, you should stop it. It's not cool. It's very rude. Especially for men. The second thing I want to talk about is comments and questions. It can either be taken bad or in a good way. It depends on the comments and the questions. Okay. I've had people stop me on the way to ask questions about where I was coming from, what I was doing here, and it's weird. Literally stopping me just to ask questions about where I come from, just being nosy and that is sometimes I answer to people who are who seem really happy to see me or who just look kind and people who are just asking just to know I totally ignore them or I just say I don't I don't understand no. <laughs> I just say something and I leave when they just honestly want to know me just honestly want to know me I don't have any problem with that but not those who come questioning as if I was under investigation talking about comments I can I recall my husband telling me how a ditch neighbor of ours asking him why why he decided to marry a black woman if he didn't find any whites around here and why he he wanted to marry, marry a black person. Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! I remember being called the N word two times and they were both kids. <coughs> and not at the same time, but two different times and they were both kids. Um, kids are weird. How do you reason with them? <laughs> we need to educate our kids and teach them better. So if you hear your kids saying those things, you should you should tell them that it's not right. That just teach them what is right, so they don't get smacked on the face. <laughs> I also found this. Look at it. I'm still confused about it. Those are just few things that bother me in this country. I mean, I don't live in the whole country. I love so many things about this place. As much as nosy and rude some people can be, there are so many nice people here, especially the older women. Older women in Timisoara are very, very, very nice. I remember one day I went to Carrefour. To buy some things and I had some cash on me but I bought more than I was supposed to I, I I took more than I was supposed to 
So I bought more than I was supposed to and I wanted to leave some of the things there and there was this lady behind me who decided to pay for my the rest of my things. It's not like um, it was a lot of money but what I like about this city is that it's really affordable. I won't say it's cheap but food and um, electricity bill, gas, it's affordable compared to other countries. doesn't mean that Romanians are poor. When people hear Romania, they... When people... people when people... people. You, you, you could... you do... you you want... you... you could do so... you... you do... you could... you... you want... you want him to do you so much you could do anything. When people hear about Romania, they automatically think that they are beggars. I was in France and I've had someone ask me if they have roads here like in France come on guys educate yourself there is the internet you can read about Romania most of the people you see all over Europe begging uh, Romans I wouldn't say they are all but just most of them and what people think is about Roma people is that they, they migrated to Europe from India in the I think 15th or 16th century and they came here and most of them came to Romania and if you stay here for like since 15th century you can't say that you are Indian or you are Mongolian or you are automatically Romanian and they are the people who go begging in other countries and which makes people think that Romanians are beggars which is not true I mean it's true in a way but it doesn't mean that everyone in Romania is a beggar or half of the population is a beggar so when people think beggars or thieves scammers <laughs> Here yeah, I've met very normal people here who are not begging and who are living quite well. Maybe even better than you who think that they are poor. So read a book or Google. G G O O O O G G L A L A E E <laughs> These are just a few of my personal and I wanted to share that with you guys so you have an idea about Romania in a way. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, please put thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!